Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MIPIM UK Awards brought to you by Estates Gazette. Please welcome your host for this evening, the well-loved sports broadcaster, Claire Balding. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of our first Lifetime Achievement Award for services to urban regeneration is Lord Heseltine. We are going to see a, an extraordinary renaissance of the English cities, including London, but at the expense of the Whitehall processes. And the opportunities for you to become involved in that, to think about it, design it, conceive it, work with new partners, imagine what you could bring to that table and the wealth that could be created by your experiences is vastly exciting and in my view it is unstoppable. And the winner is the 2014 Commonwealth Games venues. Well, I'm, I'm very proud and I feel very privileged to be able to accept this award on behalf of colleagues in Glasgow and, and Glasgow City and I know everyone will be absolutely delighted. Claire, the winner is Get Living London. The winner is Earl's Court Master Plan. Uh, the winner of this year's event is the Nine Elms Vauxhall Partnership. It's 195 hectares, <laughs> 32 different development sites, something like 14 major landowners, two local authorities, GLA, TFL. So it's a complex partnership, but everyone has really come together in terms of delivering the vision. Uh, the winner of Planning Authority of the Year is Croydon Council. I love disruptors, and the winner of this disruptor award is Little. Yep. Yeah, with the increase in popularity, you know, we're looking for sites that are big enough to accommodate your weekly shop, which we think we're doing at the moment, but also providing enough parking as well. So it's a, it's a tricky combination with our wonderful planning authorities helping us along the way sometimes. Exactly. Make friends with them. Croydon, have you got one in Croydon? No, but we have an application in at the moment. So. Um... And the winner is the letting of five Brindley Place. The winner of our City Leader of the Year Award is Chief Executive of Edinburgh City Council, Sue Bruce. Thank you very much. It's, it's a great privilege to have received the award of City Leader of the Year from the States Gazette. And I have to say, it did come as a surprise, but I think it's a tribute to um, the team that I work with. A leader is as good as the people behind them, so or with them or in front of them. Um, now, the Miffin UK Estates Gazette City of the Year has ridden the recession better than any of its regional rivals. It leads the way in take-up, its prime rents and yields are the envy of many of those rival cities, and it's certainly seen the most headline activity of any city outside London. Crucially, the world is sold on this city's charms, with global investors from China, Abu Dhabi and Singapore, amongst others, all pouring in money. The winner of this first City of the Year award is, of course, Manchester. Uh, and on behalf of MIPIM UK and the States Gazette, enjoy the rest of your evening and thank you so much for being here for the awards. Thank you.